Good morning, folks. I just thought I would take you for a quick um, toodle around the greenhouse this morning. I'm out cutting this beautiful syrinth. It's just starting in here, and um, I turned off the fans here in the greenhouse and thought I would just enjoy this beautiful morning. A look at those little bells just starting in here. So refreshing to come out to the greenhouse and um, just have a moment. It's February, the end of February. We've got a little crop of um, snapdragons. This is our crop of beautiful stock that I've cut most of it. There's just a few stragglers, so I'm just going to get the rest of it out. I think I'm going to just tuck it inside the house this morning. Just enjoy that smell. Um, more stock. This is a single variety. All this stock seed came from Johnny Seed Company um, and we grew it over the winter. We cut it for Valentine's Day and it's done now. We had um, a little PNW meetup so I took the, some of it to that as well for a little workshop that we had. Um, look at this. We've got some... Our rinoculus is just starting... It about fell over. Rinoculus just starting in is kind of a deep red burgundy we mainly do like wedding colors um, got some whites and peach and some fun varieties our sweet peas we've got two rows of sweet peas this is our second crop of sweet peas so they're pretty straggly just trimmed those back I'm gonna get them trellised here this weekend here's some rinoculus it's still cold so they haven't opened up yet or not rinoculus I'm sorry these are anemones beautiful anemones. I cut late last night, so there's not much here to cut this morning. I'm going to go through and cut just a little bit more. These here, these beautiful, look at that burgundy color. So you want to wait until the stem gets down. Just, I don't know if I can show you that one-handed here. Stem gets down just a little bit like that, and that's a perfect cut there. So I'll cut those, uh, get them out to the market and sold. Yeah, look at these. Just beautiful. Just enjoying this morning. The roosters were crowing earlier. <laughs> Birds out. Our mums here along the side, we've got them all labeled and start taking cuttings on those and get them ready to plant. Here's a second crop of binoculars. I let them go a little bit long in their container, so they are a little... Uh, leggy for me, but I mean, look at this, you guys. Super fun. This is that deep, deep burgundy. I don't know. I just thought I'd take you along today. It's kind of nice having the view out here. It's a little rough right now because it's winter. I put up this netting here because <laughs> some of the chickens were rogue and they got out, but up there on the hillside, I don't know if you can see that. Grapevines, vineyards growing, grapes. Um, that's going to be our new rose plot out there getting ready uh, to put in those. I think we have about a thousand roses going in. <laughs> my back. Here's our first planting. I got a little late on my sweet pea planting here, but uh, this is our first planting. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's stop for a moment. That's kind of a salmon coral color. I know I have the names of all of these down. Got into this like blushy, it's kind of a creamy yellow. I'm so excited for this, you guys. These are, if you can't tell, I don't think you can tell, but these are just um, probably 13, two feet tall, most a foot to two feet tall already, but looking really lush, beautiful crop coming on here for us. This is the first year I felt really successful with rinoculus and anemones. Um, and I'm just getting this syrinth cut, like I said. That's what prompted me just to turn off all the noise in the greenhouse. Just enjoy the morning. Enjoy the beauty. Enjoy the birds. Um, anyways, I thought I'd have you tag along with our greenhouse 
um, today, just a little garden tour. Oh, I should show you this too. I wish you were here because you could smell this. And here's a little Dusty Miller. We have a couple different varieties here. I cut on those quite a bit. We've got some scented geranium. Smells so yummy. Just really yummy. Oh, just brings you to summer. <laughs> and this is kind of embarrassing. This is cement. But, you know, I didn't get it planted, but this, oh, just, you know, there's something very therapeutic about having it in your greenhouse. Brush up against that. Yum, yum. Okay, so I'm going to take you over to where I bring in all my succulents and uh, show you some of these varieties. These all came from my grandma's garden. When she passed away, they were just going to get rid of them and... My sister took them in at her greenhouse, and then she was getting rid of her greenhouse, and so I took them in, and so here they are, and I bring them out. Oh, look at this bloom, you guys. Just blooming. Just beautiful. So a little bit of my grandma just stays with me. This is a, a lemon tree that's blooming. You just get that smell, and it's so therapeutic. If you guys have a greenhouse, plant some of these senses, these smells. Super beautiful. Anyways, thanks so much for joining us here at Crowley House Flower Farm today. And I hope you can join me again on this another spontaneous garden tour. <laughs> I'm just going to finish it off and another look at this beautiful bloom. Loving that, you guys. Look at that. Just beautiful. Anyways, have a beautiful day, you guys. Enjoy. Get outside. Breathe in deeply. Until next time. <laughs>